backwards. He flew over to that. Oh, there he goes, the cardinal. Just flew away. Darn it, he was on my fence, but I didn't get my camera open fast enough. But there's a lot of action over there at the birdhouse. There's one little bird peeking out. They've been taking turns going in and out. You see all those birds over there? They're sitting on the fence and on that bush. So there's a bird in the birdhouse now. And then when he comes out, another will go in. I think they're just taking turns covering from the wind. Yesterday we had blue skies and sun, and today it is very dark and cloudy. It is just after 8 in the morning. Oop, there's the birdhouse. Let's, it looks like he's coming out. Let's see if he comes all the way out. Oop, whoop, something scared him. They all kind of flew. Where'd they go? They're in the bush. And that bird is still in there just peeking his head out. Here's my morning voice, everybody. <laughs> I've been up for about, oh, about an hour and a half now, I think. Just gonna do my chores and then I'm gonna head downstairs and paint. But I so love to watch the birds. Oh, they're over here too on the, oops. Aren't they so fun to watch? The Cardinal was here yesterday too. He looked so beautiful. He was facing me though in the bush so I could see all the red. But today he was sitting on the fence and of course the back of his feathers are kind of the color of the fence. He almost blended in but then he flew over to that other fence but now he's gone. It's just a little beehive of activity out there, all these birds. And the groundhog, who in my research I found they start, they hibernate in October. He was actually out in the yard the other day. I think he's confused by the, you know, not being so cold. But he's put on quite a bit of weight. He's all ready to be burrowed for the winter. Um, that bird is still just sticking his head out, I think. But anyway, these are my morning birds. I love to come watch them. They're so fun. And the bird bath, let's see, it's quite full. We had quite the rain last weekend. It filled up overnight. Um, and I actually have seen some birds drinking from it. Um, of course, it's too cold to take a bird bath because, you know, they'd get their feathers wet and couldn't be able to fly. They'd probably ice over. It's quite cold. It's been in the 40s, I think. Um, but they have been perching on the edge, taking a drink here and there. So they're happy about that. Anyway, everybody, this is my little birdies out in my garden. They've quieted down now. There's one. See him there? One bird on the bush. <laughs> All his friends flew away. Hi, little bird. They're over there flying. See him over there? Oh, now he went up higher. All your friends flew away. They're over there in that tree. Oh, now you have a friend. Oh, look, you have a friend. <laughs> They're just flitting, flying around the neighborhood. And all these trees about a week ago had so many beautiful colored leaves. There's a few leaves left. There's some red leaves there. And then over here we have some yellow and orange leaves. But these have all shed their leaves. And there's some leaves left on that tree. Oh, the reflection of a kitchen light there. <laughs> All right, everybody, those are the birds, the birds of my neighborhood. Bye-bye. <laughs> Part two, my cardinal came back. Oh, there was a whole bunch. Oh, there's a blue jay. Oop. Blue jay there. Oh, there's a cardinal up in the, in the gutter. Look at them together. Oh, there's a couple more cardinals. There's a whole bunch of birds. Where's there's that? Sorry for all the movement. I 
think that's as much as I can zoom in. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> The Cardinal came for a little drink. The Cardinal stands alone. <laughs> There's a bunch of birds over in that garden and up on that gutter. That's the first time I've seen a Blue Jay here. There's two Cardinals there. See, when they're up on the fence, that's the back of the cardinal. It blends in with the fence. Turn around, cardinal. Oop, he flew away. He's over here. Anybody? Oh, there's one bird on the fence. And there's a few down. Oh, there they all go. <laughs> There's a few down nibbling in the grass. Aren't they beautiful? Sometimes I just stand here and watch and watch. <laughs> love birds, free birds, just free to be out there flying around. Oh, I saw the cardinal just flew by there in the opening. <laughs> that was so exciting though to see a blue jay. They're mean though. When we lived in Ohio, we had a blue jay and he was always scaring all the other birds away from the bird feeder, but they're so beautiful but they're very territorial. Just wanna see if these birds will take flight real quick on here. But it looks like they're nibbling something good. I wonder if they've scattered some kind of seed in that garden. That opening over there in the fence is left there because this is that, oh, there's the two cardinals. Two of the three, no, there. There's one. Where'd the other one go? They're just flitting about. Um, this is a deer path. So deers actually walk through. Oh, there's the blue jay. He's back. Did y'all see him in the tree? Oh, I'm glad I waited. Patience. Oh, now they're all taking flight. But I don't want to lose the blue jay. Where'd he go? I lost him. Oh, oh there's the cardinal. Well, I guess the blue jay flew away because he's a really big and bright. And I don't, oh no, he's in the bush. He's still in the bush. He's in there, pipping around. He's kind of behind the, oh, there. He's behind, he's coming up now. Where'd he go? I look down at the, there's a cardinal on the bird bath. There. Oh, the blue jay flew. Darn it. <laughs> I will not be working for National Geographic. <laughs> you would need several cameras to catch it all, really. There's the cardinal over there in the bush. But anyway, deer walk through here. That's why that opening has been left there. And um, so it's really fun because I can just see all the birds and stuff that get in their yard. and. And Bun Bun also. We still have Bun Bun. Bun Bun still lives here and likes to hop through that opening too. Of course, we have Barney the Groundhog. And uh, we did have raccoons and and uh, we've had possum. Was it possum? No, let me think a minute. Raccoon? No, no. Raccoons and... Oh, I have seen possums here, but they don't live here. Oh, I just saw a cardinal fly into the bush. Um, but we have all so sorts of wildlife here. There must be something in this bush that they like to nibble because they do love to go in there. That little, see that little concrete down there where the birds are? I used to lay fruits there.
for Bun Bun, and then we started getting the raccoons, and I had to stop feeding the birds because the birds, the bird seed was attracting raccoons and stuff, so it's unfortunate, but they still come visit our yard a lot, as you can see, and I just love that. I love birds so, so much. But I like seeing them free. I, it's, we, we've talked about getting a bird. I just can't bear to put a bird in a cage. So we don't get one. All right, I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you for joining me and all my birdies. I was hoping that, uh, oh, there's the cardinal. I was hoping uh, Barney might come out from under the deck, but pay us a visit, but nope, he has not. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.